So let's talk about what week five of the course is all about. First, just a reminder that in the previous week, we talked about model building and variable selection. And we talked about these ideas when the model is effect size, where we want to estimate the effect of some variable on outcome, or if we want to build a predictive model. And we really tried to stress there that the ideas we learned apply to all of the regression models we're looking at in the course. Same with the idea of confounding, effect modification, and so on. These concepts flow through the entire course. So as we progress through different regression models and new stuff in the course, we're going to lean on the understanding we've built of how to build a model and select variables, what is a confounder and effect modifier, and so on. And we're not going to rehash all those ideas when we start to talk about logistic regression. <clears throat> or not that much. We will still look at those concepts, but we're not going to teach them from scratch again. So this week what we're going to do is we move into talking about logistic regression. In the next four weeks of the course, are going to be about logistic regression and related material. So what I'm going to try and do this week is introduce the logistic regression model and really spend a lot of time on the ideas to help you understand what is the model. Right? So um, not just what is it for. Right? I can say that in one sentence. Logistic regression is used to model a binary outcome, right? disease or not disease. But try to get an idea of how is the model actually working. Right? What is it trying to capture and what is the, the, the underlying concepts of the model? Once we get to that, then we'll get to working with the model and using it. But I want to give you a good foundation in what is the model actually trying to achieve and how is it working? And we're also going to talk about if we exponentiate a coefficient from a logistic regression, right? if we take e to that coefficient, we get an odds ratio. And I want to spend a little bit of time showing you why exactly that is. So let's jump into building up an understanding of what logistic regression model actually is. Stick around, guys. There's more to see, and please stay safe.